many a times in our life we have this moment where we know that certain things have started in our life but it will take a certain amount of time to manifest externally we know that the deep, deep down inside we also know that anything else in this world takes time to manifest externally it doesn't happen in a day as they say rome was not built in a day <laughs> but from the last two months or precisely two and a half to three months there's some area of your life which the agenda of which you are thinking that will happen very fast the completion of that activity you feel as if it should happen tomorrow morning well i wish it did but unfortunately that's not how life operates and that's exactly what is happening or that's exactly what is going to happen when mars and rahu will come together in the sign of gemini of course very soon so what will happen is for 45 days mars and rahu will be conjunct and as the month of june progresses towards the mid of that uh, they will be you know conjunct together exactly so now what happens when mars and rahu gets conjunct so we will discuss about that today here all right so if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me regarding understanding this transit and how this will impact you in your personal life depending on your individual horoscope and planets placed in gemini because this transit is happening in gemini then you could go down to my website you will find the link in the description section below and as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you get over this transit so what is happening now mars is transiting in the sign of taurus and very soon it's going to enter gemini so now rahu is already there in punarvasu so now what happens is in transit whenever a planet conjoins rahu what happens it's like saying you know that something will take time but somehow you lose the patience you think that it should happen now and not only now at this very moment and because of that you do things which you regret later so a hint of this you would have got when mars and ketu were conjunct together last year june they came together so just think of last summer around june and july august september around that time when mars and ketu were conjunct together that time also a similar energy was there but that time what it was it was more of a headless energy it was more of taking decisions without knowing where to go it's like you tell a soldier that go and conquer a land but then you don't know which is the land you need to conquer so then you go on conquering whatever you find in the streets that is what mars and ketu is but now with rahu there is a certain agenda in your head and there is a certain level of clearance regarding this now how do you understand this transit is just check the houses which mars is ruling in your chart so mars rules the sign aries and scorpio 1 and 8 so wherever number 1 and number 8 is falling in your horoscope depending on your ascendant not moon sign again depending on your ascendant lagna or rising sign just take those houses you will see that in the near future you will become super duper ultra aggressive about those houses you will want to get success in these houses these houses mean suppose mars is ruling your second house for example then it will be things related to the family for example i am saying something to do with the family will come if mars rules your fourth house for example you are a capricorn lagna then something to do with education home property 
these things you will see that from so long i have been trying to do something on those lines and i know that i will be successful one day without a doubt but you want it now and that's what happens we try to force karma so whenever any planet conjoins rahu you will always see that you have a tendency to force things onto onto yourself and onto others and that creates a lot of misery in your life because things will only happen when it is supposed to happen things will not happen when you want them to happen whatever is in our destiny at the end that happens in the beginning in the middle and at the end only that happens it's not what we want it is just simply what we deserve so now what is happening rahu is rahu is always retrograde as you know and mars will be forward in this movement so mars and rahu are approaching and as this conjunction is getting more and more and more tight you will see your obsession regarding the houses which mars rules in your chart depending on your ascendant is growing 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 and then what will happen is you will try to push the agendas of these two houses which mars rules through the house where gemini is placed remember the agenda is the lordships and the way you try to fulfill your agenda is through the house so for example suppose mars is ruling your 10th house let's take an example so that means suppose you are a cancer ascendant because then for you mars rules the 10th house number 1 sign is in your 10th house then where is this transit happening 1 2 3 it's happening in your 12th house all right so that means now something to do with your name fame status you will try to fulfill it through the 12th house it's like saying you are taking the agenda of the 10th house to the 12th house it can be anything of course that's one example what i am by which i am trying to explain to you and what happens to you ultimately will depend on the dasha all right which dasha you are running what is the natural signification of that planet what is the position of that planet in your chart which houses the planet is ruling which planets are conjunct with that planet so for example if somebody is a aquarius lagna and somebody is running venus mahadasha the results will be different somebody is running mars mahadasha the results will be different so all the 7 billion people they will experience this differently but at the same time this feeling will be there because this transit is happening and to what extent you will be able to fulfill the agenda of the houses which mars rules in your chart that will depend on your own consciousness and your degree of obsession and spiritual elevation or degradation i would say and of course on the dasha ultimately basically it will depend on your existing chart who you are as a person now the question is why 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 will you feel like this because the trait of rahu is he magnifies anything which comes in contact with him and that is a hopeless magnification jupiter is hopeful magnification but rahu is hopeless magnification jupiter makes you believe that you can expand in a particular area you can if you wish if you try or you will expand but rahu's expansion is that you must expand in this area if you do not expand you are such a big loser in life that's what rahu tells you so when rahu conjoins mars regarding the houses which mars rules you will feel that if i do not do this now i will i'll be a loser in life you will feel that for for these 45 days but you have to understand that's an illusion because rahu itself is illusion he is the karaka for illusion 
so that is why you have to understand that whatever rahu tells you during this time that's the beauty of knowing astrology you have to understand that this transit will be there for 45 days and you still existed before this transit and you will also exist after this transit you you, you will not perish so you have to understand that the world is not going to collapse if the agenda of mars is not fulfilled in the coming 45 days now this is not a very easy conjunction to study this is a very important conjunction which is magnified 10000 times more you may be thinking why because saturn is in sagittarius it is retrograde and it is aspecting this mars do not forget that sagittarius and gemini are directly opposites so now suppose saturn was not there then how would this conjunction play out then what would happen is your obsession would increase 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 and you try your best to fulfill and to some extent maybe you would get success and suddenly when mars and ketu would separate you would feel as if was that me <laughs> was it required was it required to hurt so many people because gemini is the sign of communication was it necessary that i had to speak like that oh my god i need to apologize now but now that's not the case now saturn is opposite so what is saturn saturn is slow saturn is delay saturn is disappointment saturn is setback saturn is anything that you don't want in life saturn is simply representing all the things that you want to throw away from your life that you want please at the last <laughs> that is why saturn is the farthest planet i mean if you don't consider uranus neptune pluto in vedic context at least that is why saturn represents all the difficult traits you know discipline you know commitment hard work perseverance tolerance nobody likes these things so now what happens is now it's not just mars rahu now it's like saying saturn from sagittarius in a retrograde motion is going to make you do things again regarding the houses which mars rules in your chart that is how you study this transit and what you will realize is you are doing the things again and again now imagine you are frustrated that your agenda is not getting fulfilled or you are bloated with this idea that you need to do it today tonight you must do it and then imagine there's a planet which is saying that no 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 my dear sir you have to do, do it slow you have to you have to go point wise and then not only you go you go again and again and remember rahu is also in punarvasu punarvasu nakshatra has this trait of doing things again so it can happen that the houses which mars is ruling in your chart something from the past is coming back regarding those houses it can happen so suppose mars is your 10th uh, lord maybe some old boss contacts you 9th lord then something to do with the father could happen which you wanted to do once upon a time but you didn't do but now you will try to do it again because mars as he transits gemini will also go into punarvasu remember all right punarvasu is the last nakshatra in gemini first three padas of punarvasu is in gemini of course so in essence this transit what it means is that there is an area of your life which mars rules which you will feel as if i need to do it now and then you will see that some old things i am doing again and again and again and saturn is stambana slow which means it will slow down mars and then you will feel that i want to go at 120 km per hour and the road is clear but due to some reason i have to drive the car at 60 km per hour 
and then your patience will be tested and how do you know that you are winning this game or you are losing this well if you lose the game then the traits of gemini will come out in a negative fashion because ultimately the sign decides what happens the house is externals house will decide how what are the situations externally that you are trying to fulfill through of course and the sign will decide what is the feeling inside what is your in inherent disposition towards that house so gemini is what gemini is the sign of communication is the original third house so when when you lose your cool when you lose it in communicating with others so suppose let's take an example you want something done from your mother for example and then you try your best and she doesn't do it so then what do you do <laughs> you you blaspheme your mother you criticize her you say oh my dear mom just go to hell <laughs> what do you do so this is the time when your communication skills will be tested you will see this happening all right and this is a wonderful time to learn the principle of the gita what does the gita say bhuktaram yagya tapasam sarva loka maheshwaram suridam sarva bhutanam gyatva mam shantim rucchati bhuktaram yagya tapasyam i am the enjoyer controller and proprietor of everything that exists in this world lord krishna says this in the bhagavad gita surida sarva bhutana i am also the most well wishing friend of everybody gyatva mam shantim ruchati one who knows this gyatva gyatva means one who knows this gyan who has the gyan shantim ruchati he obtains peace <laughs> so why do you want to rush things because you think that you need to control certain areas of your life or every area of your life yes you want to control you want things to go your way otherwise there <laughs> so now is the time you will see all the things regarding spirituality which you thought you are very good at so for example tolerance or you know maintaining your cool how much control do you have over yourself because remember gemini is all, also the original third house third house is also the how our house of you know pornography adult media stuff prostitution etc yes maithuna bhava parashara defines it as, as maithuna bhava third house so you will see that either you blast somebody who is not fulfilling your agenda or you will be surfing some things in the internet pornography or adult material so if you are doing that then you have to understand that mars and rahu has defeated you your spiritual practices are not up to that standard which by which you could you know withstand the power of rahu so then what to do you have to increase the dose all right you have to increase your spiritual practices so at least if you ask me personally many people have asked me what should we do well i would say for these 45 days maintain a very sattvic lifestyle i would say it is best if you can get up in the brahma muhurt if you can one and half hours before sunrise and i would say when you go to the office do not take your mobile at least i am going to do so because in between of this in middle of this month i am going to a spiritual retreat <laughs> in south germany of course for around 7 to 8 days and nursing chaturdashi is also on the corner on 17th in india it's on 18th i've heard and nursing dev is the vishnu avatar for mangal mars so if you chant this mantra om namo bhagavate narasimhaya this will be very 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 good for you all right and for everybody else and please abstain from eating meat for these 45 days at least 
or try your best because the more you damage your mars by eating meat because mars is the cargo for violence when you are eating meat what you are doing you are just simply participating in the killing and slaughtering of other animals so the repercussions are very high for people who eat meat you will face the repercussions one day if either now or in this life anywhere or somewhere else and this is not fear mongering this is just being logical with some basic common sense so let us not kill animals for the next 45 days at least and let us abstain from things like you know quarreling in facebook i have seen my god strangers blaspheming each other on political parties opinions yes you both are fighting and the political parties will go to an alliance some day you will see that's what happens many people in india they are and this election is there and they are giving their opinions no 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 i think this will win that party will win and then you will see that the parties who you who you are criticizing they will you know to win the election they will go into an alliance and then they will be victorious and then you both will sit and wonder like fools that oh why was i <laughs> criticizing this party because anything in this material world they have their concrete agendas all right so gemini is also the sign of opinions so the best thing you can do now is not to give any unwanted advice to people you'll have that tendency unwanted advice nobody asked you but you are like no no i suggest you do like this i think you should do like this now if somebody is asking you then you can give the suggestion but this is what i have realized in my experience when mars transits gemini this happens or you will try to push your opinions over somebody else no 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 i think you should do like this but remember that person also is going undergoing through this transit so now that person will not spare you he will rip you apart if you try to force your ideas onto him all right so for the next 45 days even if you do not get into a war with somebody you will still live all right in facebook whatever happens in facebook will not affect you in your life all right so rather than fighting in social media over topics like economics or politics or development or anything of that sort you can have discussions but 99% of the times in forums like youtube and facebook they don't remain discussions they get into nasty quarrel bickering fights so let us avoid that and you will get the temptation and because rahu is in punarvasu and saturn is retrograde you speak something and then every 10 areas they will keep quoting oh you said this you know now i will defeat you blah 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 oh. simply back off if somebody tells you something even if they tell you you are you are x y z you <laughs> just back off just back off just don't react just drink the poison think how lord shiva behaved lord shiva drank the entire poison my god <laughs> of course we cannot drink that but at least let us not go on a war with somebody if somebody is asking us questions we can reply in a defensive mode that's fine but let us not go and wage a war against somebody right that will not be in line with our high high consciousness at least for this transit of course all right so you can chant the mantra for nursing dev and get up in the brahma murat and do this do your mantras and abstain from meat so that will be very good for you and you can read some scriptures like uh, the story of nursing dev you can read yes and pralad maharaj from the which canto is it seventh canto of the shrimad bhagavatam this story is there all right so canto number 7 you will find this story so find this story and go and read it and then hopefully things will be better with this transit all right so that is what i wanted to share regarding this transit it's been a very long video but i wanted to make this a bit long because this is going to be an important transit all right 
so there you go if you are new then like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me then you could go down to my description section where you'll find the website okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him hopefully